Hello again, my dear friends, as we have our second day of our Litany for Freedom, also called the Litany for Liberty. And in this section, we continue to go to Jesus, the source of all freedom. And it's Jesus' release of captives, Jesus' voice against violence, Jesus' courage for the lowly downtrodden, Jesus' origin of all authority and power, Jesus' true lawgiver, Jesus' unity of order and passion, Jesus' freedom of the Spirit, Jesus' obedient Son of the Father, free our hearts. I think one of the things that make us nervous about hearing that word freedom is we think of freedom as the ability to do whatever we want, whenever we want, with whoever we want, and it causes chaos. But real freedom, it might seem like an oxymoron, real freedom is really obedience. You might say, Father, that makes no sense. If I'm obedient, I'm not free. No, it's only when we're truly obedient to the loving Father, to the redeeming Son, to the sanctifying Spirit, to the Trinity, when we're obedient to them who made us and loves us, then we're truly free. We have a freedom for, not a freedom to, to the difference. It could be a freedom to do whatever we want, when we want, all that stuff. But we have a freedom for excellence. We're called to more. We're called to more as a nation. We're called to more as a people of faith. We're called to more as individuals who are beloved sons and daughters of God. Jesus, voice against violence, courage for the lowly, origin of all authority and power, everything we have is a gift from God. And Jesus Christ empowers us to freely stand up for those who are being stamped upon, to be a voice for the voiceless, to truly act with courage, even though there'd be more freedom in running away. Jesus says, no, I am with you always as the crucifix behind me reminds us. He went to the limits of suffering for us, so then we are called to walk the same path we can do so freely, for we are never alone. So my dear friends, may Jesus truly free our hearts to love as he loved, to preach as he preached, and to save others as he has saved us. Let us pray. Christ the Lord has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Let us turn to him in humble but fervent petition, seeking the grace to root out from our heart all trace of darkness and all that holds us back from walking in the full freedom of the children of God, as Christ is our great model for that inner freedom which enables us to do the right. Let us turn to him with confidence that we too may follow him to the fullness of spiritual freedom we ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen.